Last November, I almost stopped the Shut Up Brain podcast. I almost quit it completely. About a month and a half ago, I almost stopped doing the Shut Up Brain podcast completely. I almost quit, I almost shut down brilliantsad.com, I almost thought about deleting this YouTube page, and I wanna tell you why I thought about doing that, why I am not doing that, and what's going to be happening in 2020. So, grab yourself a good drink, and uh, by the way, I'm drinking Spindrift. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. It's like sparkling water with like amazing uh, just fruit in it, and it's delicious. Um, not sponsored by them, by the way. It's just amazing. Uh, so yeah, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself some tea, some coffee, or a Spindrift, and let's get into this. <sighs> There's a couple reasons why I almost stopped doing the podcast in November. The first was because something really good happened. I had achieved my goal, my like two year long goal of I wanted to record 100 episodes of the Shut Up Brain podcast. And I reached that goal in November. And after I reached that goal, I was a little like, wow, this is amazing. And I recorded a podcast episode about how, how great it was and, and the feelings. And then I just felt kind of like, not depressed, but just like, I didn't know where to go next. Uh, I thought, well, I've been pushing towards this for a long time. and what should I do next? Should I even keep doing this podcast? It is a ton of work and it does take up a lot of my time. Is it worth it? All these, all this um, time and energy and creativity that I'm investing in this podcast, is it worth it? Um, because that was the big thing is I had postponed evaluating uh, whether or not the podcast was successful until I had reached 100 episodes. And so this was sort of the evaluation point. And even though the podcast is what I would consider to be fairly successful. Um, every episode I release, it gets between like three and uh, 7,000 downloads within like four weeks, which I think is like, it's on the smaller end of podcasts, but it's pretty successful. It's much better than what I was doing in the beginning, which was like 50 downloads per episode. <laughs> um, and it took a long time to get to this point. Um, but there was some metrics that I was not satisfied with. Um, one, uh, and I've not been shy about this, the podcast does not make money. In fact, it costs me money every month. It costs me about $250 a month with all the hosting and the programs and yada, yada, yada. Um, and so it costs me money every month. I've been doing this every single month for like two years, <laughs> or actually even, even more than that. <laughs> so I, I was just trying to weigh the cost benefit analysis of why am I doing this? Should I keep doing this? Uh, and yeah, I was just kind of weighing all of that. And then around this time, I decided to launch a product. Uh, this was the Stop Overthinking course, and I was pre-selling this product, meaning that the course was not built yet, but that I was going to sell it to see if there was interest, and if there was interest, I was going to build the course for people. And I had the cart open for, I think, three to five days, something like that, just to give people the opportunity to buy. And the first couple days that it was open, the sales didn't really come in. And I was really confused about this and I was wondering why are people not getting this course? Did I price it incorrectly? Um, is it uh, not what people want? But I had gotten a lot of feedback. This is exactly what people wanted. And so I just was really second guessing everything I was doing. Um, because in a way I thought, you know, if I can uh, sell a couple courses uh, a few times a year, then hopefully I won't have to be <laughs> paying for all this hosting and stuff myself. And there's the added benefit of I get to really help people with one product that is focused on something specific. And so when this was not selling, I was just like, man, what am I doing wrong? I'm just horrible at all this stuff. And I was really kind of beating myself up a lot. Uh, but there's a silver lining towards the end of this sales period, in fact, the last day, a bunch of sales came in. And so I reached my goal. And I reached my goal of my sales where um, I had gotten to enough sales where I decided to build the course itself. And so that's what I've been doing in December and what I will be finishing doing this January. And there's some things that I have discovered by creating the content to this course that I, I didn't expect. And one of those things is one, I really like creating the content a lot. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. It is just, 
Um, I really like creating content for a very specific, um, one, a very specific group of people that I'm getting feedback from, but also um, on a very specific topic where I can go more in depth in something rather than just kind of jumping around from topic to topic that I typically do on the Shut Up Brain podcast or even on this YouTube channel. And so I've been really liking creating the content and it's really inspiring me. And I, in fact, the reason I'm recording this video right now is it's gotten me in the habit of creating content and, and publishing it and putting it out there. And so that's why I'm doing this because I'm in that habit now and um, which I think is a really good thing. What are some of my goals for 2020? Like what, what do we wanna have going on here? Um, well, one of my goals, and this is just a, a personal goal, is I wanna progress in my career. I really love Brilliant Side. I love what I'm doing on YouTube and things like that, but those are my, my side hustles. I hate that term, but it's just my side projects that I do. I have a, a career that I am loving and a job that I just adore and all my coworkers are just amazing, so I don't want to jeopardize that in any way. But I also do want to make progress on Brilliant Side and the Shut Up Brain podcast and this YouTube channel. And so it's kind of a balancing act. So one thing I'm doing is I'm changing how I'm setting goals. I used to, in the past, set goals in a way where the goal was outside of my control. I might have influence over it, but in the end, it's outside of my control. So a good example of that is I could have a goal of getting 15 sales for my course. And you might think, oh, that's a good goal. You just have to hustle really hard and then you'll get those sales. But there's a lot outside of your control. It could, be, it could depend on how good your product is. It could be dependent on how good your sales copy is, how big your email list is, um, how warm your audience is, a bunch of other factors that you do have influence over. But um, if everything doesn't line up perfectly, you might not hit that sales goal. Whereas a much better goal would be something that you do have con complete control over, which is for me, like releasing uh, 100 more podcast episodes. In fact, that's one of my goals. It's not one that I will finish in 2020, but I've already hit 100 episodes. I'm gonna go for 200 episodes of the Shut Up Brain podcast. And I'm pretty stoked about this. I don't know where it's gonna go after that, but I think I have more to say. <laughs> when it comes to some of my uh, self-development ideas and I want to start bringing more people onto the podcast uh, that can share their ideas. And I think there's just more to do within this creative framework. And so I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna keep going. And then once I reach 200 episodes, at that point, I will reevaluate again and I'll see, okay, do I wanna keep doing this or do I just wanna give it up or change or do something else completely? So that's goal number one. Goal number two is this YouTube channel. Okay, elephant in the room here, taking a sip. I have said multiple times uh, over the years, time to get hardcore with YouTube. I really wanna create more videos. I like creating videos and um, I like the comment section on YouTube, even though it can be toxic. It seems like most people who comment on my videos are really quite um, genuine and helpful and, and amazing. Uh, so, I don't have any specific goals when it comes to YouTube and uh, me putting out videos, except for I just want to do it more frequently. I want to keep it fun. With YouTube, um, I do want to release videos on a weekly basis, but I also want to release videos that I really want to talk about, that are more freeform, just ways for me to connect with my audience, because that is the other thing that is going on here. Uh, I need to figure out a better way to connect with you. Because when my podcast was smaller and when I had more time, if I ever had more time, it seemed like my email inbox was a lot more manageable than it now is. And <laughs> uh, I remember in my podcast episodes, I often say, email me, ben at brilliantside.com. I will respond to you. I respond to everyone that emails me. and. That just is on the edge of not being sustainable moving forward. Um, I still get lots of lovely emails from everyone telling me their stories, telling me, asking for advice, um, complimenting me on the podcast uh, and uh, on YouTube stuff. And they are heartwarming and amazing emails, but 
it's, it's a lot of emails to answer for one person. And I've noticed specifically over the past six months that uh, I am avoiding my inbox more frequently and the emails are piling up and it is making me respond a lot slower than I think is um, respectful of people that email me. So that means that going forward, I wanna nurture this relationship with you and I on a couple different platforms. One is going to be YouTube. Um, in the YouTube comments down below, I want to spend as much time as I can. Um, I've also in the past tried to answer every single comment and that's not really possible. So I might do what some of the larger YouTube um, people do, which is they will just answer comments for the first hour or two that the, the video is live. And maybe I'll do that for the first day the video is live because my YouTube channel is still pretty small. Um, and the other way I want to communicate with people is through Instagram. So you can add me down below. Uh, I am currently taking a hiatus from Instagram in January of 2020. Just give myself a 30 day break um, because I'm on Instagram way too much. <laughs> but in general, I really do like Instagram and I will probably be using it to communicate with people and, um, and things like that. So that is what is going to be going on moving forward. And how am I feeling about Brilliant Side and the Shut Up Brain podcast and this YouTube channel and some of my personal goals that I have not shared, uh, such as I want to play the cello every day in January and maybe extend that to every day this year. Um, that would be amazing if I did that. Um, so I'm feeling pretty darn optimistic. I was pretty low in the end of November and even early December um, but having that time off, that break from the podcast, being able to create content for the Stop Overthinking course, being able just to process the end of that big goal of 100 episodes, it has, it has reinvigorated me. It is, I mean, I'm a pretty optimistic goal-oriented person in general, which you already know. And yeah, I want to just keep keep this train moving going forward. And that means moving forward with the podcast, moving forward with the YouTube videos. So overall, I'm feeling very optimistic about 2020 and the things that I have moving forward. I think the tentative goal right now is to release YouTube videos once a week, probably on Sunday morning. That's most likely what's going to happen. Although for January of 2020, the main goal is to finish up the Stop Overthinking course and to get that completely finished. So uh, I'll be able to launch it again and um, get some feedback from the founding members that are there. And if you are a founding member and you're watching this video, feel free to leave a comment down below, you know, uh, a little shout out there because you guys are amazing and inspiring. And if it wasn't for you, um, you know, there might not be a Shut Up Brain podcast. And uh, I don't think it's hyperbole to say that. I, I think it's really, um, you guys are really important to me. And um, yeah, anyway, uh, so that's the state of the union of the Brilliant Side Project and this YouTube channel and the Shut Up Brain podcast. <laughs> and uh, if you have any comments, any questions, anything you want me to address, feel free to just leave a comment down below and I will catch you later, team.